Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to use Power Automate to extract a particular piece of text from Gmail. So we have an incoming email, and as, this is our example email here, and I want to extract um, a very specific piece of text. I want to extract the location here from this email body, and then we can use that in uh, store in Power Automate, and then we can use that in uh, part of our flow where we will then use that piece of text um, elsewhere. So what we need to do is create a flow. So we're gonna go over to Power Automate and we've got our flow name just simply extract from Gmail and our trigger is a Gmail trigger when a new email arrives and we'll click create. Now, if this is your first time um, using the Gmail connector, you'll need to um, authorize Power Automate to connect to your Gmail. I've already done that, so it already gives me the takes me right to the trigger. And now, what I want to do is put in my subject. So that's subject is going to be job posting to match the subject over here, and that's the only piece of um, additional advanced options that I'm going to include here. So we're going to go ahead and add a new step. Now, the next step is going to be HTML to text conversion. And so we type in HTML to text and we see this content conversion and we select that. And then in the field, the content field, we want to select body from the dynamic content of our trigger. So we'll select body. Now we'll add another new step. Next step is going to be a compose action. So we select compose. And this action here is simply going to be the enter key. So you put the cursor in the inputs field and you hit the enter key. And we're going to rename this action to simply enter key. Next is another new step and another compose step. For this step, we need to create a split expression. So we put our mouse, we put our cursor in the inputs field and we click on the expression tab and we're gonna enter a particular expression and it's going to be a split. And in the, um, in the parentheses here, we want to add the dynamic content of the HTML to text output. So here's HTML to text. So we add that in there. And then after the body part, we wanna put in a comma and a space, and then we're gonna add the outputs of the enter key. So this is the full expression. And I'll have these expressions in the description below. But the thing that you should know is that anytime you're following along here, um, make sure to be following the steps where we are renaming these actions because that will affect uh, your expressions. So you see enter key is there because that is the, what we renamed this compose action to. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So we can click OK now that we're done with that writing that expression. And before we move on, we want to rename this compose action. And I'm just going to rename it to split. And now before we test this, we want to add another new step where we're going to uh, filter our array because the output of this split will give us an array. And we want to actually filter that array and what we're filtering for is any um, rows that are any rows that are greater um, than zero, so that we filter out those rows. We only give us the rows that actually have text in it, um, and then that way, when you see the outputs of this, the JSON results of this, it will eliminate all of the rows where there's no text. So going back here, we're going to choose here the outputs of the split. And then for the value here, this is going to be another expression. And the expression is length trim item. And again, I'll have this, um, I'll have these expressions in the description below. So let's click OK. And then we're going to select is greater than, and then the value is zero. 
Now, let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to test this. So now that we've saved it, I'm going to hop over to Gmail. And I'm going to send this email before we continue so that we can finish setting up our flow um, once we have, once we're able to get the, the JSON outputs um, from this filter array action here. Okay, so you can see that our flow um, test actually failed. And the reason that it failed is because I mistyped and I fixed the um, error in the expression and ran the test again and it succeeded. So let's go into our flow. Um, and in the filter array, I actually mistyped here in the expression for the filter array, I typed length um, incorrectly. So what I wanna show you next is if we go to our successful flow run history and open this up, we're going to take a look at the filter array outputs. So we can see the output here, remove the empty rows. And the row that has the text that we want to extract is this row that's located right here. And Power Automate always counts the first row as zero. So here, hello would be row zero, and then this would be row one and then row two. So the text is on that we want to extract is on row two. So we're going to go and edit, and we're going to add a new step, which is going to be a compose. And then in the inputs field, we're going to add an expression, and the expression is down below, so you can copy and paste. So I'm going to paste that in here, and this should actually be two here. So this digit here represents the row row two, and then this digit at the end represents the item um, order. So if we look at the JSON, we see that, and we can go back to email to look at that, um, we can see that the first item is location, second item is Seattle. So that's why we have a one in there, because this would be, again, counted as zero, and this would be counted as one. And then we also have our colon in there to indicate that um, it is split by this colon sign. So we can go ahead and click OK. And then we can save. And then we will rename this as location. And let's save it again. And let's we'll send the email um, again to test it. And then we'll see what the output of the location is here once we've done that. Our flow ran successfully. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the run history. And we're gonna open the location action. And we're gonna see that it provided us with the output of the location that we were looking for. So now that we have this particular output, what we can do is add some additional actions depending on what we want to use the output of the location for. So if we go to edit, I'll just give you an example. Let's say that we're extracting that particular value from the email so that we can populate that value into a, a spreadsheet that we have. So what we can do is add a new step and let's do an Excel action. And for this example, we'll use Excel online OneDrive and we will choose add a row into a table. And then we will need to choose our file. So select the folder for that file. This is a job application history folder in your um, or file. And your file is going to need to have a table. And if you want to see how to do more of th these kinds of actions, I have other videos on that. And then now we are able to see all of the columns of that file listed right here. And so we see we have a location column. So now we can go and we can select our outputs from our location action. And that's going to populate or update um, the file with that particular um, text extracted from that particular email anytime that email arrives. So I hope you all found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.
And as always, we will see you in that next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.